Hey, Peter Martin, the web doc. And as you can see, I've got my loud and obnoxious prospecting shirt on. This shirt I like to wear when I'm training, when I'm talking about prospecting, because I want to get your attention. So now that my shirt has got your attention, let me show you how you're going to get attention of your prospects that are laying dormant in your CRM. Every dealership out there has anywhere from five to I've seen some stores as many as 50,000 unsold leads sitting in the internet CRM collecting dust. They're sitting there lying dormant. The fact of the matter is the average internet department has a 5% closing ratio. What has never happened to those people is they have never been marketed to and prospected for service. Whoa, wait a second, I'm the internet manager. I don't care about service, I hate service. I've heard it all before, but let me tell you something, okay? I've been in the car business for 28 plus years. And I will tell you, as I'm standing here, a satisfied service customer will eventually buy a new car. So you've got all of these leads sitting there, they're, they're collecting dust, they're not responding to you because they're not ready to buy a car. But everybody, I don't care what type of car they're driving, is looking for service. At some point, they are gonna need service. A matter of fact, a new statistic came out and said that over 50% of the people today do not have a service department that they trust. What a great opportunity for you, the service manager, and even more importantly, you, the internet director, to take these leads that are sitting there collecting dust in your CRM and market to them for service. But before you get all excited and run out there and start sending out emails, let's talk about a couple things you need to do. Number one is, these leads that are in the CRM, we have no idea what type of vehicle they're driving. You bought the lead from one of the lead providers and it came across and it had their name, their address perhaps, their phone number and what they're looking for. But you do not know what they're driving. So let's just say I'm a Ford dealership, okay? And we'll just go take a look at this website right here and we're gonna click on their coupons, okay? This is a Ford dealership. We clicked on the coupons and notice, look at all the coupons. They're all about Ford. Well, we don't know what this prospect is driving. So if he happens to be driving a Chevy and we send him to a coupon page like this, we just wasted our time and our energy. What do we do to fix that? It's very simple. You need to go and invest a couple hundred dollars, and I'm not asking you to spend a lot of money, but go to your web developer, go to a private web developer, whoever you're using, this make a difference, and tell them you need a prospecting coupon page. Now you notice most dealers' websites have standard coupons, and they're all the factory offers, and they're all great, buy three tires, get one free, all the standard stuff. Everybody else has it. We are going out and we are prospecting. We have to be loud. We have to be obnoxious. We have to get in their face. When they see those coupons, we need to get their attention. They say, wait a second, I've got to go to that dealership and get my car service there because nowhere else can I go get an oil change for $9.95. Where can I go get a free tire rotation? Here's what I recommend. Now, you don't have to use this one, but this is one that I like to use. But here, and as we scroll through, look at all the different coupons. Notice every third coupon has some sort of free offer. Every service department does a lot of things for free. We do a free tire rotation. We do a free safety check. We do a free air conditioning check. We do a free install your windshield wiper blades if you buy them from us. You need to put all of that stuff up on this page because remember, this is a prospecting campaign. So when we send out the email and that person opens it, there's gotta be a good call to action because what you wanna get them to do when they get that email is you want them to click on the link to go to your special coupon page and that's what's gonna get their attention. It's an incredible opportunity you have. You've got thousands upon thousands of leads that your dealership has already paid for. You spend $20 a lead to get these leads in. You're sitting there and they're collecting dust. Take these leads, start marketing to them for service, and you will be amazed at what a change will happen because these people are gonna come in and now they're gonna become satisfied service customers who will eventually buy a new car. I know this is a little bit against the grain, but if you take my advice and you trust me on this, you will see long-term growth for your dealership and for your internet department. This is Peter Martin, the web doc. Hopefully you'll get some benefit out of this. And as always, take a few minutes, review the questions at the end of the segment, and then go into our next session that talks more about how to market those leads that have been sitting there lying dormant and reactivate them.